Hey folks, I'm Craig Stern. I'm here to tell you about Telepath Tactics, a game I've been working on for about two years now. Telepath Tactics is a turn-based tactics game with highly deterministic mechanics, a little bit like you see in chess. Telepath Tactics is, in many ways, my dream game. Uh, I've been making games since I was six years old, maybe. I've been making board games and card games and just little turn-based strategy games, and this is pretty much the culmination of that. Um, I got the idea when I was sitting down and playing uh, Fire Emblem uh, Path of Radiance on my old GameCube. I was thinking, man, this game is so cool, but I'm so alone. I wish I could just have friends over and we could just play, you know? I could just take my army and he could have his army or she could have her army and we could just go head to head, you know, in just a tactical duel of wits. Well, folks, that's what Telepath Tactics is all about. It's not strictly Fire Emblem, but it draws some influence from it. it draws some influence from Disgaea and Final Fantasy Tactics. And basically, uh, it's, it's sort of all the best elements I could find from all of my favorite turn-based tactics game kind of mashed together in a single game that supports two to six player multiplayer. You can build bridges, you can build barricades, you can fling characters into water or lava, drop them off of cliffs, you can stun, blind, cripple, set characters on fire. Um, there is backstab damage, so positioning is important. There isn't a whole lot of reliance on random die rolls, right? You're not going to just randomly miss attacks and then lose the game because you got screwed by the random number generator. It's a game of skill. There's so many intricate systems with their own unique ways of interacting that work together in a really cool way. They all interlock. And I really think you're gonna like this game. I've been working on the gameplay, fine tuning it for a very long time. Uh, we'll actually have parties where like my friends will come together and we'll play uh, just like on a big map, you know, six player, multiplayer, and it's a ton of fun. That was how it started out, right? As uh, a multiplayer turn-based tactics game. But part of the way through development, um, something happened. People just came up and said to me, hey Craig, uh, this sounds awesome, but I really like single player. Can, can you take this engine with all this cool stuff that you've been making for multiplayer and also have a single player campaign? And because I'm a big softie, I said, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. It'll add months onto the development time, but I don't even care. If it makes you happy, let's do it. So this game also has a single player campaign with persistent characters and permadeath and leveling. More importantly than that, though, it supports modding. Use the map editor to create new battles. They can create their own characters, their own items, their own attacks, their own character classes. Custom tile sets are supported, custom destructible objects. Literally everything in the game, you can change and you can extend and you can create your own versions of it. It's really, really easy to mod. Um, there's no hex editing or any nonsense like that. It's just XML. You just double click an XML file edit it in any word processor you want. And uh, it's actually made it really easy to develop the game. But I digress. Th this actually brings me to why uh, we're running the Kickstarter in the first place. If this is going to be a single player focused thing with mod support, we need more content. When I first hired uh, the artists that are working on this game, you know, I had enough of a budget to hire them to create all the assets for multiplayer. There's 22 different character classes in the game, and we have really good looking sprite art for them all. But each uh, human character class, for instance, is only one gender. So all bowmen are men. All crossbowmen are women. All swordsmen are women. All spearmen are men. Really, really easy. Uh, saves a lot of money. But it causes problems when you go into single player. If you want to make a really cool Fire Emblem style single player campaign, you need a little flexibility, right? There's mod support, so presumably someone will keep adding stuff after it's released, but I want it to release with all the tools you need to make it work right from the get-go. We need sound effects. We don't have any right now. I looked into it, talked to some professionals that are really good at making sound effects, and it turns out it's gonna be kind of expensive. Given just how many attacks there are in the game, like there's 22 different classes and each of them has, I think on average, four or five unique attacks, right, just for that class. So we're looking at dozens and dozens of different sound effects just for the character attacks. Then, you know, you've gotta have sound effects for movement, sound effects for dying, sound effects for, you know, like when you click on stuff in the, in the user interface. On top of that, we need more music. We only have a couple tracks in the game right now, and uh, you know we've gotten in touch with Nick Perrin, who's an excellent composer. He did the uh, title theme music that you heard just before. I want to have a good soundtrack with a little bit of breadth, so that you know when you're creating your own 
campaigns. Uh, you have a good selection of music you can use. Um, and also for me to use, obviously, in the, in the main campaign. We also need a bit of money to help promote the game. So, for example, uh, we need money to create a really good professional website for the game. We need money to go to PAX East to promote the game there. And you might be thinking, Craig, why should we give you money to promote this game? That's silly. And the answer to that is, uh, this is A, a multiplayer game, and B, it's a game that supports modding. So the more people there are playing this game, the better it is for you, ultimately. It will make the game more valuable to you the more other people there are playing it. So that, that's all of the stuff we need money for. Um, if there, you know, if by some luck we do get more money than that, um, there are a million more things that I can think of to do with it. I'll tell you if and when that looks like that's gonna happen. Uh, but for now, those are the core essentials that we really need in order to release this game in the state of polish that I really think it needs to be in before I will be happy with releasing it to you. If you want all that stuff, um, please pitch in some money. If you look over on your right, you will see there's a whole bunch of rewards for helping back the game. Um, obviously, you can get a copy of the game if you uh, contribute a certain amount. I believe it's $10. Uh, contribute more, you will get early access. So you'll get um, access to the game as I continue developing it. Um, you'll sort of have a say in how the development goes by telling me things that you want changed. You can get access to the map editor if you want to get started making battles and uh, whatnot early on. You could have your own campaigns available for the game on launch day. That'd be pretty cool, right? Please, back the game and help make Telepath Tactics all that it can be. It would mean a lot to me, and in exchange you'll get a really cool game for your trouble. Click the donate button and let's make this thing happen. Thanks so much for watching.